Testing, 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 testing. Greetings, Earthlings. We come in peace. We are the intergalactic social superboards. We are from a planet where all is balance. A place where realities are content and all futures are bright. A place where beings relate to one another with respect, with understanding and love. Injustice is not in our collective reality. There are rumors circulating through the galactic grapevine that Earth is in dire shape. We hear that people are divided, subjugated, sick, and hurting. Your forests are being cut down. Your air and water and food is being poisoned. Your energy supply is exhausted. You hurt each other and your fellow creatures. Your leaders are failing you. People live in fear. The earth herself is ailing. We have come to find out if these terrible rumors are true and see what kind of beings you are that would let this happen. From up above, we saw what looked like a crop circle. We thought maybe this marking was left by our friends. Upon landing, we realized this was not an ally base, but a universe city. How lucky!
see the world. Uh, you know, if, if people don't see the value of social justice, um, I guess that's the kind of people they are. Um, you know, to me, it's a no-brainer. Uh, we live in a world of profound inequalities. Uh, we are told by the dominant ideologies that everything is fair and everyone's equal and everyone can get ahead, and all of the uh, public images, the media images, uh, are that, you know, people are successful and rich and beautiful, uh, but the reality is just the opposite. We don't live in a world where everyone is successful, where everyone can do whatever they want. And uh, that's wrong. You know, it's wrong in a society with profound differences of wealth that some, by the accident of birth, get to develop themselves as people, get to discover all the things that they could be, and others do not. Uh, that's just fundamentally unfair. It's immoral. Uh, so that's why social justice uh, should be everybody's business. Good point. Okay, so we know social justice is important, but we aren't quite sure what it means. Maybe Professor Farisi from the Women's Studies Department can help us. Hello, Professor Farisi. Can you tell us what social justice means? Uh, I've always thought about social justice as a way of questioning what seems normalized and naturalized in the world. So when somebody says that inequality is, you know, just normal, right? Well, why is it normal? You know, why do why do we accept that definition, and what does that mean? So, for me, looking through things at a social through a social justice lens is trying to um, dismantle these hegemonic discourses around normalization and why things are the way they are socially, politically, economically, culturally, and um, kind of going from there. Starting with gender and the intersections around race, class, sexuality, age, ability, so forth and so on, and probably leaving a few things out, is the way that you have to approach social justice, that it can't be just around siloed identities and identity practices, because then you miss right, all of these other types of things that play into how people value their lives, right, and why they feel constrained by particular circumstances in their lives. Thank, Thank you, Laura. So, social justice involves asking deeper questions about why inequality exists and recognizing that people experience systems of oppression and privilege differently. Oh, you mean intersectionality? This is very helpful. But with so much inequality, where do we start? Let's try asking Professor Magasa from the Equity and Human Rights Office. Well, in my practice of social justice, I think I start by myself. It is uh, trying to have uh, a good way of dealing with people. And uh, by, you know, my motto, what I say, believing in peace and believing in human rights by being respectful of other people. Hold on. So if everybody thinks about themselves, then we will get social justice? No, no, no. That, that is, is what students, students call individualization. Many times humans act without thinking about the consequences of their actions. Musa was talking about becoming aware of the ways that your own actions can affect other human beings. Just human beings? Hmm, this is not clear. Let us ask Professor Manisha Decker from the Faculty of Law. Greetings, Professor Decker. What is included in social justice? Well, it all goes back to, you know, how does a course get to be classified as a social justice course? Or what do we see as a social justice endeavor? Like, what are our building blocks? And uh, you know, my argument would be that any way you characterize it, the interests of non-humans would be in that, because if we think, of, as I said at the beginning, if we think of it as responding to, you know, exploitation, then certainly animals are exploited, right? Or if we think of it as responding to um, inequality, then certainly, or arguments about 
how some are superior or inferior, and certainly we have those kind of discourses about humans over animals. So there's no necessity to put humans at the core of a social justice agenda. Thank you for clarifying this matter. Professor Carroll, what do you think about social justice? I tend to um, see social justice as a, um, a very um, multidimensional uh, concept, sort of you know, look at any given situation and think about what are the social justice issues that are raised by what's happening in this situation. I think that's a really useful way of approaching the, um, you know, the situations we face. Even the environment? You can't in the long run have social justice if it's not ecologically sustainable. There's a whole uh, series of interconnected uh, political, eco ecological, economic problems that um, I guess fall under the rubric of social injustice, which is um, very much the concern of, of people who are concerned about social justice. Well, what do you do? Um, 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 what do you do? 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 What do you do, right? I mean, you know, knowing that is one thing. Trying to figure out how to actually make a difference. How do you challenge that power? How do you try to change the conditions that are, are limiting people's lives? Professor Aragon, how, how do, do we, we make this change? The only way we're going to make change, in my opinion, is through a concerted effort between people on the ground protesting, people um, within academia, as students, as professors, but people also in the institutions. Even in universities? Most of what happens at university is pretty mainstream. Uh, most of it supports the status quo, and arguably in that way it supports inequality. But there are a few people acting within universities who try to use the resources of the university uh, to try to give something back to the communities, try to create resources that people uh, can use. Ah, I see. So social justice work also occurs within institutions? Yes! But renowned author Derek Jensen challenges our thinking even further. He says that some people are doing everything they can except for the most important thing of all, which is to question the existence of this entire culture that's turning the entire world into first a work camp and then a death camp that is working the world to death, that is poisoning the world to death, that's gassing the world to death. And so I think it's really important that we step back and we look at the larger existence of the, this death camp culture and ask ourselves what we're going to do about that. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? What do you think, Professor Corrado? I think that we are now in a moment, a very crucial moment, I think, in the history, especially after the crisis, the economic crisis. And I don't think it's only economic crisis. I think it's, it's the environmental crisis, it's the social crisis that we are in. We talk about different crises all the time, and people forget about this, but I think it's part of the whole package. I think that we are in a very important moment First, uh, to, to be aware, right, uh, about what is happening, but also to, to be uh, aware of the possibilities. And I believe that we need to go and look at what models are working at the grassroots level, an economy, build an economy for people. We need to, to, to bring our knowledge, our, our vision, our, our efforts. We have to join the efforts. And, 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 and talk to others about these possibilities. Yes, this is very good advice. The current neoliberal system has failed you. Earthlings must create alternatives and work together to build a life-sustaining future. This is incredibly important work. We salute you who dedicate your lives to creating a world that values life and love over war and money. Perhaps you have some words of wisdom to share with Earth things.
who wish to join you on this journey of social justice. I mean, my words of wisdom would be directed at white activists, and it would be about thinking very carefully about your whiteness as a problematic and questioning the politics and how that positions you, and looking at your own um, complicitness and involvement in white supremacy. Being mindful of not rep reproducing the same inequities and inequalities that we're trying to eradicate through our practice of social justice. For me, it was very important to hear um, a woman from China uh, when she described that uh, um, the struggle for human rights and social justice was a spiritual practice. For me, it is very important to be involved, uh, uh, not just for ourselves, but for future generations. You have to choose your battles. Be true to yourself and celebrate the small victories. Realize that your heroes are human. No one thanks you for changing the world, but you just have to have some faith. Some faith that uh, change sometimes occurs when we're not noticing through all these different efforts. There is a, I would say this uh, silent revolution happening. What we need is to recognize that. We need to recognize diversity. I think it's part of the social justice. I think we should never give up. Never, ever, ever. Understanding and recognizing that we are all together in this world and we need to find a way to live constructively and peacefully together. Um, I found a, a quote from Martin Luther King that I particularly like. He says, love and power are usually contrasted as polar opposites. Love is identified with a resignation of power and power with a denial of love. What is needed is a realization that power without, without love is reckless and abusive and that love without power is sentimental and anemic. Power at its best is love, implementing the demands of justice and justice at its best is power correcting everything that stands against love. You cannot consume your way out of this crisis. Social justice is imperative. There is no one way of defining social justice, nor is there one way of practicing it. Rather, social justice is a way of being, a way of living and acting in the world, understanding that what you do as individuals ripples throughout your community at interpersonal, local, national, and international levels. You have a great responsibility to ensure that your actions are contributing to the creation of life-sustaining systems. Social justice is about acting with future generations in mind. Social justice is about working to dispel the myths of superiority that continue to marginalize and oppress. Social justice is about valuing environmental and social well-being more than increasing profits. Social justice is about collaboration. It is fluid, contextual, 
and constantly evolving. Social justice is about equity. Social justice is about decolonization. Social justice is about challenging the state and challenging the status quo. Social justice is about creating an alternative economy, about fighting neoliberalism. Social justice is about revolution. Social justice is about creating a life-sustaining future. Farewell and good luck on your journey. We go in peace. to roll with the status quo didn't even know all the ways that i would grow then i went to school took a feminist class they said check yourself you've been looking through a looking glass tainted by the middle class globalized systems got you moving so fast you don't even see that your whole world's ruled by patriarchy Surrounded by depression, greed, violence and media leads us fear to make us puppets I won't stand here taking part in these lies Business as usual can say it's goodbyes I hear the people's cries Industrial civilization revolutions on the rise We won't tolerate Racist, sexist, classist, structures, breed and hate All around me are people who know this world is a change and the impression's gotta go. Living on the edge of evolution time is gonna help you find your intuitive mind. No more stupid stereotypes keeping you blind. Gonna help you see the compassionate side of humanity. When I was a youth, I used to roll with the status quo Didn't even know all the ways that I would grow When I was a youth, I used to roll with the status quo Didn't even know all the ways that I would grow